What's going on YouTube? Gsno right here. So in today's video I have great news for those of you who missed the opportunity to update the iOS 14.3 RC in order to get the ODC jailbreak. Well, Future Restore has finally been updated and it supports the newer devices like the A12, A13, A14 and so on. So you can use your saved SHSH blobs finally in order to upgrade. But there are some issues here. So there are two different branches, one that doesn't work with the A13 and A14 and one that does work with A13 and A14 but it doesn't work with anything else. So you have to choose properly the version that you want otherwise you will boot loop your device. So the release has been posted on Reddit jailbreak, it was apparently made by Adam. And yeah, if you missed the opportunity to get the 14.3 but you did save your blob, that's actually good because you can actually go to 14.3 using Future Restore. But you cannot go to 14.2 or 14.1 apparently. Adam also posted quote, okay, after some further research, 14.2 seems to be the lowest version compatible with the latest SEP version, but only on A10 and below. A11 and above, please don't try, just go to 14.3 or 14.3 RC. So even if you have blobs saved for 14.2.1, 14.2, 14.1 and so on, the downgrade will not be possible because the 14.4 SEP or Secure Enclave processor is not compatible backwards with the 14.1, 14.2 and so on, especially on the newer devices. Remember we're talking here about either downgrades or upgrades. So Future Restore would be be able to get you back to 14.3 or 14.3 RC with the proper branch here if you got your blobs saved. So that's actually pretty useful and yeah they did get it to work even on the iPhone 12, you can see A14 here with the uh, Future Restore running fine and the restore has been completed because if you remember Future Restore has been broken for a while now but it has been updated thanks to the great folks at the Cilio Discord here where it's basically been announced. Fullstar also announced it and you can see all the threads here about the, uh, the new release releases for future restore so if you want to check that out go ahead. So to put it simply what do you need to use? Well if you have an A12 or A11 or A10 or lower device you should use the master branch. Make sure that here on github it says master and not v1 or A13 A14. This is the version that you can get here on the releases and of course there is also a big warning here. Only use this branch if you are not needing to restore an A13 or A14. If you are needing to restore an A13 or A14 use this branch which is basically the one for A14 or else you will boot loop. So please do be sure that you're using the proper branch if you're actually using Future Restore to go to 14.3. So this one on the A13 and A14 is only for A13 and A14. This one doesn't work with older devices. You will actually boot loop your device if you try it on A12 or A11 and so on. So only use this one here with the A13 or A14. Those are basically the iPhone 11 and all their pros and the iPhone 12 and all their pros. So that's basically basically it with the future restore. There are two versions right now and it depends on what device you have. If you're not sure which one to use, please tell me in the comment section down below what device you have and I'm going to give you a link for the proper one. And make sure you get the future restore from this repo here because there are multiple ones. For example, there is the original one by Timstar which is not at all updated and this one will definitely break something if you try it or in the best scenario it would fail. So do make sure that you get this one here created by Adam. And the SEP compatibility is apparently only for 14.3 and 14.3 RC but that's basically what you need if you're planning to upgrade your A12, A13 or A14 device in order to get the ODC jailbreak. So this is your last chance if you want to get the ODC jailbreak and you missed the opportunity you're running 12 point something or 13.5 or 13.7 and so on and you really really want that iOS 14.3 and you want to upgrade the 14 finally and get the jailbreak too. If you saved your blobs at the time I told you to save your blobs you can now upgrade the iOS 14.3 even if it's no longer signed and you can jailbreak with the Odyssey once it gets released probably in a couple of days, weeks, we don't know yet. So definitely use Future Restore if you need to do that but do pay attention what Future Restore you use because otherwise you're going to bootloop your device. So yeah, thank you for watching, I am Geosnow, till the next time subscribe to stay updated and peace out.